Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. We are joined today by um, Dave from Big Wave Sound Therapy. Hi. He's also my husband and my twin flame. And we are just going to get into a general reading. And then um, we're going to do some questions, um, whatever we're guided to. Um, for Celia, my guide, our guide. Okay. Celia is the kind of connection between Dave and I. So... Well, we need stuff today. Okay, first card I get is protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. Yes. So that that's that just that knowing of the you're you have that guardian angel there is always a good thing. Uh, next thing I next card I get is beginning now, take your first step. So just know that you're, you're safe and protected. So you have that reassurance. So go on and begin that journey. The next one is great adventures. Take a risk, adventure forward. So it seems like there's some new trip, new beginnings, new something that's beginning to sprout and just need to know that you can do it. Yes. And the next card is taking shelter. The answers are within. So that's just kind of following your passions, your love, whatever whatever's inside and make sure you follow those. And then the underlying energy is narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. So that just means be focused. Yes. And it may have been a difficult time, but times are changing. Yes. We have definitely felt a different change in the energy in the last few days. <laughs> um, so, yes. would you agree? Most definitely. And what would you say has been one of the main things that we've been working on this week, Dave? <laughs> Opening our heart and judgment. <laughs> and how quick that judgment it, that you have to somebody else is passed right back upon you. Yes. So, Judge and be judged. So, so we truly don't always um, realize <laughs> how much we judge until we start looking at it. I can say that much. <laughs> so the current energy is the death card, which is transformation, which it's a time to be able to see it in a new light. Awareness is a biggest part of that whole situation. Um, you know, before you maybe that two of swords, you know, kind of not really paid attention to where your energy was actually focused. So mm -hmm. could have been a little bit of both ways, which, you know, causes definitely conflict between but that is the work is noticing that is the foundation that is about that is the work to see that when you judge somebody, it's that law of karma is immediately like cast right mirrored upon you. We just don't even normally realize how quickly because we're focused somewhere else. Um, and we feel like a gift has been given to you and that you're not focused on the gift that's been tried to be given to you because you're really paying attention over here to something else that you're thinking of lack or loss. And she's kind of looking bored and like, when's something going to happen? And not realize that there's a gift over here being given to her. Mm -hmm. You know, she's just not really paying attention to it. And the headspace is the Queen of Pentacles, which is about that stability that, you know, that place, you know, that mother, wife, that, you know, um, divine feminine energy that we all want to embody is where we want to go but you know are you paying attention of how you want to get there are you how are you treating yourself maybe you're having a period of time alone for you to work on yourself and get, value yourself because other people are going to treat you how you value yourself and if you want to be valued like a queen do you act like a queen do you know or are you waiting for something to happen you know she's sitting there waiting and you know what all she has to do is take the action and one step forward brings you towards that personal fulfillment. Like she's, she looks like she's really hit the jackpot in that one. So just know as you decide to see things differently, I mean, it's all about, we all have this individual perspective. And as you change your perspective and decide, you know, I'm on my path and doing what I'm doing. And you know what, you're on your path doing what you're doing. I can't say what's best for your path and you can't say what's best for my path. We just all have to know, um, I, I'm working my path and I hope you're working your path to the best of your ability and 
we're all going to get to the same place. There is no competition. The current environment is the five of pentacles. But you know what? I feel like that saying she, that Chiron is right there. And if you choose to take this step forward to work on your Chiron, which is where is the lack in your life? Because normally it's lack of love, lack of money. I mean, normally it's those are the two, you know, we have abandonment issues, you know, which just tend to have patterns um, of different people in your life through that. Cause you know, I just see that circle there of like, just kind of going around and if you don't get the lesson and come over and pick up the key and work on that inner child healing, that cycle is just going to keep going around until you decide to pick up that, um, that Chiron key. And she said, you know, Chiron and the North node are in conjunction. They're like six degrees apart right now in Aries. Aries is about the self and taking the action towards that. So we feel Aries is saying, where is your Chiron? Are you working on healing your Chiron? Are you working on your North Node? Because she's been like the biggest push lately. Of It's time to step in. And you have to know that you're protected and begin now. It's a great adventure. It's going to totally change your life for the better. All you have, like, as soon as I put that first toe in the water and like changed my dating profile to say I'm an energy healer because I was just like, hey, this is clearly who I am. Let's get some clients or whatever that way. So, like, as soon as I put my little toe in the water, Dave, I got him. Like, that was, like, that I needed healed. And we have definitely worked on that healing. Yes. And we work on it every day. So, know that you can heal this pattern by looking at where is your Chiron. You know, here is the symbol for what Chiron is. It's the key symbol on your birth chart. And it is what my guide, Celia, says is the key to to really moving forward to this brand new beginning that you're wanting. You know, everybody's going to see this is happening in the physical. Something new is going to happen. You put one toe in and this opportunity is coming. She's like, come on. It's very golden on this side of the, <laughs> the board. And it's about healing that, that third party energy, which would be love or money. You know, do you feel like somebody got more of attention from one of your parents? Did that start your cycle of abandonment? You know, normally we feel it's a wound of the heart. And normally it's a wound that you get in childhood, which is that Chiron. And it's about doing the healing work on that. Which is going to help you step into that Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the outcome is the Ten of Wands, which is putting down that burden of that's holding you back. You know, the only thing that's holding you back is your own judgment. And your own perspective on, you know, trying to focus. Well, if this person was doing this, I would be happy. You know what? If you're happy, you're just happy. That's your choice to be happy or not to be happy. Yeah. Um, truly. Um, the underlying energy is the two of pentacles, which is about making the choice in the physical to take the action forward that is going to make you happy. You know, when you have that inspired action for your path, walk it, you know. We're guided to do this. Me and Dave, before we were doing the video, we were playing bowls. Dave was playing it. I come in and played a little bit. It was a very grounding, magical little activation for us. Totally mm -hmm. different than any other time we've played bowls together. Yes. And just it was inspired action, and we followed it. And that really caused an activation with both of us. Because there's, you know, at first, um, Dave's ego did try to step in. But you know what? He took control of his thoughts. And gain control, and then we played together. And how beautiful was it? It was magical. When you decide to work together, very magical. Very magical. So we are going to ask you to take time this week to look at where you're judging others, where you're having judgment with yourself. Um, the card of calling spirit in moments of confusion or clarity, and sit in the power. It's a good time to meditate and say, you know, where am I having judgments? Um, We've had so many opportunities in the last 24 hours of we, where our both judgment is on things, like almost immediately. So, um, which comes, so he says back to the self love because the card of self love is coming out, which, which is it's an inside job that starts with you because you know what? Everything in your exterior is a mirror of how you feel about yourself. And then the bottom of the deck is the Chiron, which she already mentioned the Chiron. So um, are you working um, on your Chiron at this time? 
it's like super important. That is the key to the healing. That is the key. Like I took a class on Chiron and started working my Chiron and then literally stepped into, okay, I'm an energy healer. I guess I'm going to just, you know, step into mission on this. And then literally Dave, like the very next person I dated, like my path, like everything I dreamed of. So Aww. I got my book. It's too big.